Hey there guys and welcome to another video and today we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to use the procedural uh, ecosystem. We have it laying down right now. We have a hype map going on. Uh, you might probably recognize this hype map from giant indent in the center. This is the one I've been working with for the last couple of days. So it's a good place to start. So this is the area we're going to be doing up and some people find this hard to use and they're probably right because it is pretty damn confusing. I do not blame you at all if you think that. So to begin, we are going to need to go into here. This is the important part. Change this to pattern. Pine forest is red, birch forest is green. Pine forest is red, birch forest is green. Now if we go here and browse, you're going to see this. Only pine, only birch, uh, a sparse mix. You know, you have so much stuff going on, right? Uh, you have a density mix, density mix three. Pretty much all three of these and the sparse mix over there are one and the same. Okay, so red and green, red and green, you get the values, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this one because it's a sparse mix of everything. I'm going to drop it in there. Okay. Now here's what you need to understand. Red is pine. Green is birch. So when you're painting, you got to remember that. Okay. So watch. So this is what we're painting. All right. So we'll start off with red. Okay. So this is not that hard. Let's go all the way up real quick here. Just max it out. And we're just going to paint right here. Now, as you can see, there's not that much going on. But if we switch to birch and then switch to green, we get to fill in the rest. Because I'm impatient, we're going to actually extend this up. And we're going to set this to that much. Okay. So this is the forest that you're going to get. And I'm actually going to reset it down. Do just keep doing this and eventually you got all the spots. And go back to red, switch back to pine. Okay, now once we have a big enough area done up, you can switch these up, all right? So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. We have a little bit of everything, but the green is the least amount. So switch in this, switch to green, and then you can just do this. So you fill up now. Anyway, that's the only area we're going to be doing. So now we can fill in everything else. So what you're going to want to do is select all three of these. Okay. And we're going to just drag it right there in the middle. Like that. All right. So there it is. Now for this to actually work, you need to go into project settings. Do, 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 boop. It usually opens on boop. Don't judge me. Oh, 
Uh, that's not the one. I think it's actually editor preference. Yeah, it is. Go to experimental, enable procedure foliage. Okay. So now that we have all of these set up, we got to go to pine forest, meadow, and birch. And we're going to need to do this. Don't be scared. Just keep going until you got your area that you want covered. And same thing. Okay. And up. There we go. So that's our area. And now we go down. Turn off all of this crap. Turn this to five. I find that is possibly the best. Just hit generate. And you wait. It has three things to go through. It has to render the birch, the meadow, and the pine. And once it's done, it'll let you know. Well, look at that. It's done. So we got this mess of a forest going on. We go in nice and close. You can actually see it looks pretty damn cool. Now, of course, the lighting's garbage, so you can't really tell of its beauty. So now we're going to be adjusting that real quick. But all in all, I guess that was pretty simple, right? We got everything that we needed and wanted all in one little video. Set that. The light intensity is up. Go to skylight. It is set to movable, good. All right, I guess we'll leave it at that. And we need to deal with this stuff here. And there was another one. Because I do a lot to my projects, but we'll try to do as much as we can just for this one video. Right about there. We want to set this as volumetric. Put up the scattering a lot like that. Okay. And really default fog is perfect. Weird, right? Now we want to bring out a post-processing. We need to set this to infinity and beyond. Dear God, I hope I don't get sued for that. All right. Now here's the thing. Bloom is a must. We have to have Bloom set up. So we can turn off these other two. But we need to have Bloom set up just a little bit. Just to give us that, that feeling of atmosphere. Okay, that's important. Uh, AO is also important. Okay. See what it does? It really sets the mood. All right. So now that that's done, I always add an image effect. Mainly because it does that. I know that might seem weird to the rest of you, but I go for atmosphere. And... Next, to deal with global saturation. 
and I crank up the greens just a little bit too much just to give it that fantasy look. Now I'm going to make sure my other settings are okay. They are. Good. Now comes the magic. All right. So there you have it. We're done. And as you could see, we have a beautiful land that we're working with. And if you don't want foliage in a certain area, one last thing is this final one. So what does this do? Well, that. Congratulations, you got mud. See? It's very useful. Gets rid of foliage. You anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.